Hey guys, Kyle here from Boyan RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And thanks for checking out another video here. We have a Keystone Cougar half ton, 24 RDS. We're gonna walk around the outside. We're gonna get you inside and see what you think. All right, we are outside right next to Highway 53, close to the airport up in Duluth, Minnesota. This weekend, we're gonna have the air show happening. So if there are any jets that fly over, I'll pre-apologize for the noise, but they are pretty cool. So come see that if you haven't. But right now we're gonna go through this Cougar here. Like I said, half ton towable. It's got a hitch on the back, so it's nice and short. So if you wanna hook up a boat or anything else, you got that going for you. We're gonna start right up front with the road armor hitch, the trailer. And then back under here in the compartment where your battery is going to live, you also got your uh, spare tire. Throw a couple tools in here, nice little extra storage. You got some docking lights. You got a uh, convenience light up here as well. I'm kind of back you up. You got the LEDs. I don't know if you can kind of see it in the sun, but and then you got your nice docking light up here with a little mirror so you can back up, do it all by yourself. Wrap around the back side here quick. We've got two 30 pound LP tanks on board, which we're gonna fill before you take off as well. That battery box is gonna have a brand new battery put in there. Right in here in the slam latch baggage doors, they are nice and thick, insulated. You get your water station, all your hookups in here. You got your uh, pull valves in here for your tank dumps. Your battery disconnect is in here. You got a solar plug. You got your hot and cold water. Just everything kind of going on. Giant pass through storage. You've got heat ducts in here, so this will be heated. You got your auto leveling as well. Push a button, walk away, let that take care of it for you. Back up. You got the bedroom slide up top, living room slide down here. Wrap your arm back, a couple great features back here is you got a ladder, bring it up to the roof, check those seals, check those slides, keep making sure everything's clean. Let's see, this is prep for a backup camera as well. See so you can go backup camera in there. And again, like I said, you got a hitch down here so you can tow a boat or a little small trailer. Come around the campsite. Nice great big awning, underlit by LED lights. You got outdoor speakers out here. This is the climate guard protection. So you got a heat and enclosed underbelly. Like I said, it's solar ready. Solid step stairs. Really convenient on a dual axle. Let's see, we'll bring it up here. You got the outdoor speakers up there and you can kind of see, hopefully see that LED light. It's a lot nicer at night, but Kind of got things going here in the daytime. Again, here's the other side of the pass-through storage. As you can see, that's gonna be your heat duct that's blowing nice warm air into here. Convenience light down here is on a motion sensor, your satellite cable, power. Find a nice mini fridge or something, stick it in there off Amazon. These slam match baggage doors, all the doors are held up by magnets. You can see that, no more clips those up really nice there's where your other um, LP tanks gonna live it's really nice big awning spans almost the whole length of the camper it really keeps you out of the Sun bring up inside you got a set of solid step stairs nice big grab handle right in the back of this coach you got a nice u-shaped dinette right now it's dropped down into the bed position so you can see how big that's gonna be you can pop that up have a great night for cards family night dinner right around there a lot of great storage overhead storage above it you got power and usb plugs on both sides as well as a bunch of windows so it really brings the light in really nice keep an eye on everybody running around at the campsite you do got some recliners you kind of kick one back show you how far those kick back just look at that nice relax right across from the TV kick back wind down relax 
really nice. Also right across from the recliners is you got a fireplace, which is busting up uh, 4800 BTUs. So if you got shore power, you plug in, got an electric fireplace here to keep this nice and toasty for you on those cool Minnesota nights. You got the in command, on command connect system, touch buttons there. You said the nice TV and a ton of counter space in this unit. Three burner cooktop, little oven, microwave, you got a light and a fan, exhaust fan. You got you know, overhead storage for a bunch of little knickknacks or things that you want to put up top when you're done traveling, as well with a lot of doors for storage in here above and below. A spot for a nice garbage can, and pull drawers for all your utensils, everything in there. Free on radio, USB, Bluetooth, CD, uh, right there for you. Stainless sink, you know, the double stainless sink with a pull down faucet. Nice good pantry right next to the refrigerator. Really deep. Put a lot of stuff in there. Gas electric fridge and freezer. Motion lights on the stairs here. So at night, if you are walking up, you'll be able to check that out. Right here is a light switch for the whole coach, so on your way to bed, you can hit that. Shut those all off. Move you into the bathroom. Nice, good sized bathroom. You got a sink, you got a good medicine cabinet. Shower with a seat. And then also, you have the skylight, too, for you taller folks. Nice room in here. Nice glass doors, stores for your towels, everything you want, towel rack right behind. Then you also have a, you hear that, you nice have a porcelain stool in here, easy to clean, a little more residential feel. Then you got a bunch of doors and storage under the sink as well. Moving into the bedroom, nice size bedroom with a really good wardrobe in here. This is on that slide, so it really gives you a lot of extra room. Wardrobe storage to either side of the bed and above head storage. Nice bookshelf style cabinets on each side with power and USB on both sides. Let's see, tuck it back and check that out. Nice lights. So if you have a CPAP machine or anything, be able to stick it on there out of the way. Good size window in the bedroom, along with a roof vent to get some air. Still has some good height in the bedroom in here as well. Walk around bed. Let's see, I'm kind of show you the space that's in front of the bed. You can get around the bed. You also have a spot for a TV with appropriate hookups in the ceiling, so you can put a TV back here. AC ducts run into, into the bedroom here, so you got AC ducts. Keep it nice and cool. Bring it back, looking down on the living space from the top in the bedroom. A lot of space down there in a smaller fifth wheel coach. And as I said, some of this size is great for you know, you know, family of four. Put two back there, two in the bedroom, and get a boat behind it, take it to the cabin. A bunch of great features. This one just came in. We're here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Again, my name is Kyle. Give me a call at 320 290 5834. You can text or call that number anytime with any questions you have. I'd be happy to help. Come to the camper and get out camping. We'll see you soon.